Hello, my name is Lara Penner. I'm here today with Deep South Radio, and I'm here with no other than Tomas Waters, who's currently laid up here in Princess Hospital. How are you going? Actually, I'm brought you in a little song, a little few goodies there. Thanks for all you doing. I'm going to get a little seat to that. I'm actually parched and thirsty. Yeah, just having a nice slug there. But, Tom, I just come in. Actually, how is the knee? Sorry about that, their letter is parched and thirsty. The knee is not too bad now, Lara. I had a bit of a mishap. She swelled up there like my leg yesterday evening about half past six. And the nurse came in and she gave me, she put the bear, she put a load of tape around it now yeah. and probably go to it. It's been alright ever since. So yeah. hopefully, you know, that'll yeah. be the end of it. But the, the anti antibiotics coming into me there now and please God, the help of God, mm. let it come mm. good, you know. No, I just came in here to ask a few questions, um, you know, on your career today, if you don't mind answering a few, you know. Um, I'll just start off with uh, how long have you played the game, Tom, with uh, Wexford and the Americans, that is? Um, I'd say you now started out playing with St. Martin's Club under eights. Powerful year that year. We had a powerful year that year, yeah. Mm -hmm. We actually um we won the district final there again, Kilmore down our Ladies Island every game. It was a dirty hour evening but it was a tough game, we won mm -hmm. by two points after extra time and um it was a great game, the ball was moving very yeah. good for the conditions, you know. And yeah. um, would you have any um or what would be your breakfast tomorrow morning of a match now, Tom? Um, I'd always maybe I'd always get a few by legs in the morning and maybe a bit of hairy bacon and a bit of brown bread and yeah. um, if there's any orange juice left in the fridge I'd always get a little bit of orange juice. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And would you have any pre match rituals now that you did a, a day or two? I'd always get uh, I'd have a baby powder the day before the session before the game and maybe if I could get a wood line or two I'd have one and a couple of and maybe a handful of jelly beans. Just to keep me nerves, calm me nerves, you know, and maybe keep the energies going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what would be your favourite ground, Tom, inside and outside Westwood? Um, well, an old favourite of mine there would be the parish pitch above in Paul Pasty. A lot of lads wouldn't probably agree with me now, but um, it was a, I always thought it was a great lads would be giving out about it being out, there was a scut tree out laying one yeah. down into the pitch, but I always thought there was a powerful sod on the Paul Pasty pitch, and the ball will be moving very fast and it was a, I always thought it was a yeah, pitch. Yeah. I love hurling there to be honest. Yeah. And what would be your favourite hurling moment to date? Well, um, I'd have to say it'd be the 1982 district final. It was played down in Ballymehy, we were playing our ladies island and I never forget it. Tommy Stannard got one eight off play in it from play and it was a great, it was a great game. It was a great ever time, Martin's Club. I never forget. That's the truth. Um, favorite hurler? About uh, it'd be a toss between Mighty Connors and the Mixie Berry. The <laughs> Mighty is a great, a great man to move the ball, and the Mixie Berry is a great man to run with the ball. And I always a great one of my own favorites would have been Evan Scallion. I always thought Greg Scallion was a great man, the great man to, to keep the ball moving. Mm. Toughest opponent. The toughest opponent I'd say would have to be David Breen from uh, Monagir. He was a very strong physical man and he turned on the he turned on the tokens and uh, he had a powerful strike as well. Mm. Very, very, uh, very, very effective player. And um, before we go, Tom, have you got any advice for young lads out there who's you know thinking about taking up the game? Well, I'd say to any of a chap going out to hurl any day, keep the ball moving and don't pull, pull, pull hard. And have plenty of my legs and drink plenty of hay and you'll be a good man. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Thanks very much for that, Tom. Um, that's all here from, uh, from Deep South Radio. Back over to you in the studio, Garrett.